On the streets of modern Japan, Western style clothing is common. The traditional ankle length kimono of old Japan is not often seen. Everywhere there is bold evidence of change and signs of the past. Japan is an iron nation. The main irons are Hokkaido, Honshu, Shikoku, and Kyushu. The irons are bordered by the Sea of Japan and the Pacific Ocean. Tokyo, the modern capital of Japan, is on the island of Honshu. The land area of Japan is about 143,000 square miles, less area than the state of California. And yet, Japan supports a population of over 100 million, about half the population of the United States. Japan extends from the 31st to the 45th parallel, corresponding to the latitude between the state of Oregon and lower California. This helps explain why each of the islands has a different climate. Kyushu, the southernmost island, is warm, subtropical. The northern island of Hokkaido has long cold winters and much snow. Winter sports are popular here. Japan is a mountainous country. Actually, the islands were formed by the tops of undersea mountains. Mount Fuji, a most famous landmark for tourists and poets, was once an active volcano. It now rests in tranquility. Japan still has active volcanoes, reminders of the great natural forces which form the islands. These natural forces are at work today, producing earthquakes and tsunamis, great seismic waves caused by sea quakes and underwater volcanoes. Seismographs are used by scientists to monitor movements in the Earth's crust. The scientists help warn the people of Japan of coming earthquakes and tsunamis. Throughout Japan, the mountainsides are covered with forests. The trees supply rumber and wood pulp used in making paper and synthetic fibers for the textile industry. Mountain streams and rivers are controlled to generate electric power, power for large cities and for small agricultural communities. A farmer working on his small hillside farm uses modern machinery to help improve his crop yield. Mechanized farm implements are used on large flatland farms where the land is easier to work. Chemical fertilizers help improve crop yields. Rice, the staple of Japan's diet, is grown on over half the farmland.
Modern farm machinery is used on the flatlands where most of the rice and other grains are grown. The use of machinery has eliminated the need for many farm workers. In the last 20 years, technology, the use of machines, has caused a sharp decline in farm population. Vegetables are also grown on the flatland farms. Tea, a favorite beverage, is an important crop. Traditionally, tea leaves are harvested by hand. Japan also has many orchards which, like farms, have been modernized. Trucks bring crops to the villages and towns. In the villages, the old traditional farmhouses with thatched roofs are being replaced by houses of modern design with roofs of brightly colored tile on the outside and modern conveniences on the inside. Because of modern technology, many young people have left the farms to seek factory jobs in the cities. Fish supply most of the protein in the Japanese diet. This island nation has one of the world's largest and most modern fishing fleets. Each year from nearby coastal waters, Japanese fishermen take millions of tons of fish, herring, mackerel, sardines, In deep waters of the Pacific Ocean, fishermen go after tuna. On huge ships known as floating factories, tuna and other seafood are cleaned, processed and packaged. Seaweed is harvested in coastal waters. It is an important part of the Japanese diet, so not much seaweed is for export. Other sea products are exported, like pearls, both natural and cultured. Pearls are taken from oyster beds along Japan's coast. have long been in demand in Japan and are a major export. Many aspects of modern Japanese life have followed Western patterns. The government, for example, and education. Many subjects are the same as those taught in schools of the West. But learning how to read and write takes longer. Japanese is a difficult language with many characters. In Japan, students have to go to school for nine years. The government pays most of the expense. Outside of school, students enjoy many imported recreations and sports. Baseball, baseball is the most popular sport. Soccer is also popular. Of course, judo, a native Japanese sport, is a traditional favorite. Japanese youngsters enjoy other imported entertainments. Westernization is most clearly shown in Japan's modern industries.
Within the last 20 years, Japan increased her export sixfold. In order to manufacture finished products, Japan needs a constant supply of imports. Iron ore is one of the major imports. Iron ore is used to make steel. Improving on Western technology, Japan has become one of the world's leading steel makers. Steel is important to the shipbuilding industry. Kobe, Yokohama, and Osaka produce some of the world's most advanced ships, huge oil tankers, and specialized vessels for carrying autos. Japan's automakers have a worldwide market. The auto industry is based on quality control and careful industrial planning and marketing. Careful marketing has also brought success to the electronics industry. Transistorized radios and other electronic products have sold tremendously in world markets. Japan's manufacturers have also captured worldwide markets in optical goods. High quality cameras present stiff competition for their western made counterparts. The Japanese have also become leaders in the chemical industry. Japan's industries are carefully directed into areas that promise continued economic growth. As in other industrial nations, the cities of Japan are overcrowded. Overcrowding has caused serious housing shortages. To cope with this, Japan is building new housing, especially apartment buildings. But there are other problems. Pollution. Japan now has laws regulating industrial wastes and exhaust fumes from automobiles. Trains offer one alternative to auto pollution. Japan has an extensive government-owned railroad system, some of the fastest and most modern trains in the world. The Tokaido Line carries passengers between Tokyo and Osaka, almost 350 miles, in about three hours. But some people in Japan believe that speed is a mixed blessing. They feel that their modern technological nation is moving too quickly into the future. Can the people retain a harmony with nature? What of their past? What place has ancient tradition in the future of Japan?